Hi, this is John Doe, aka Frags with the DNB Academy, and welcome to another sound recreation video. And for this one, I decided to go with this new track from Mosey called Volcano, which has a really interesting bass sound uh, that is a sort of transversal to loads of subgenres. So I really think it's a good sound design exercise trying to reverse engineer it and make it sound exactly or close to what Mosey just did here. So let's take a listen to what I'm talking about first. It's a sick build up. Volcano. So you hear it? It's pretty much this really, really cool over distorted uh, square wave uh, that comes into play here. Goes this downwards direction. So I pretty much nailed down the notes. So these, this is the MIDI. So we got that covered. Now let's get into Serum and actually to the design of our patch, right? So the core elements uh, within this sound are, they, they, they reside on the fundamentals of the, the wavetables, all right? Uh, it's not much that we can do within the processing to achieve this sound. So it's all about the right wavetables in the right spot, especially when it comes to the level mixing, all right? So let's start with the first one. We should go to our basic shapes and select a square wave. That's what we're going to be working with today. And let's get a couple of octaves lower so we can actually get here. So as you can hear, it already sort of sounds similar to uh, what Mosey did there. So let's crank the level up to like 85. And let's leave the rest as it is. We want this to be like super dead, mono-centered sort of sound. We'll achieve more width with the processing later. And now for the second oscillator, uh, we got to go with the basic uh, Mini or basic MG. It's like they are kind of similar depending on where you choose this wavetable position here. Uh, but I feel like basic Mini can give us a bit more of an interesting sound for this one. So it's cranked like two octaves lower as well. But as you can hear, like if we leave it like super high, it just overshadows the rest of the sound. So we need to, to go with a wavetable position like this one, which is a bit, as you can hear, it's a bit more growly. And with this negative one octave. This is pretty much it, all right? Now let's turn our filter because it, it does a lot in the sound. It's actually one of the most important parts of the processing is the way we played out with the filter, All right? So let's, we can actually go with the MG Low Pass 12 as we have it right here. Let's just assign these to both oscillators. Let's just make sure we cut off and we roll off some of this like super harsh frequencies because we're gonna get those back in a bit. Let's increase the drive like 18%. Also the fat, like 15. And now before moving on to our processing chain over there, uh, we need to add a bit of noise here. All right, so let's go with something like a bright white or arp white, something that adds this layer on top. Like, it might not be much for now, but trust me, it will help our distortion to come through. All right, so, in terms of overall patch design here on, on the oscillator tab of Serum, I think we're good for now. Obviously, all these sounds, they require a back and forth process. So I don't want to be just showing you step one, step two, step three. I want to show you the reality of things, which is this going back and forth, tweaking things uh, up until we're happy with, with the sounds, all right? So uh, let's go into our um, effects chain here. So we're gonna start this a bit differently than we usually do, which is by the distortion, just trying to sort of like glue things down already. So we gotta go with the chorus first, because we need this like this width and the way the harmonics start to sound like with the chorus, just like it's the source of the sound, alright? 
So let's just low pass a bit, like 500 or 100 ish, somewhere around there. And decrease the feed, increase the feed a bit, like 20%. So let's move this up top of our chain. Then we're gonna distort. So we're gonna go with something like a diode, which really helps to get the noise to come through. Look. Let's go with post processing here because we don't want to distort everything. So let's go with this. Want to get like those excessive highs out of the way, right? That's that's sort of our goal. Put the drive not all the way to the top, but like 78, 79. Then we can increase the volume here. Because this this distortion just squashes the the square wave we got going on here all right so let's let's now apply a filter as well just once again get rid of those excessive tops that can make a huge difference on the overall filling of this patch then just apply an eq before the after the filter to remove the muddiness you might have added in the 500 hertz area somewhere around negative 11 and the, the quantity let's give it like this for now so now let's just try trying to mix this and try to place this within our mix down here at least like increase the master a bit even though we've got our channel here just a bit like negative four we can increase this this is this sounds like enough for me all right so within serum there's not much that we can do uh, to achieve the sound, all right? So we need to go outside of it, do some EQing and some later processing, especially distortion, to achieve this more of a boxy guitar uh, sort of sound that Mosey does uh, on this track. But before moving on, let's just adjust our filter, because as you can see, there's like a big difference, especially when we start to come down here with a cutoff. But we want to make sure we also have those mids in the mix, so let's not go that aggressive. And if you don't want to apply an extra sub layer to it, you can always count on the sub oscillator. So you can always turn it on and send it direct out. So now we do have this fat low end layer that can be beneficial or not for our processing. So we need to figure that out later. It's not something that has a formula, all right? So let's go with it. Let's close our serum and let's start processing our sound here. So first things first, you always know that uh, EQs are really important. So we need to tweak, we need to balance things out by looking at our sound. Like, for instance, depending on what we want, obviously our our low end is quite rich. Uh, our harmonics are not that bad, and it, we do have enough of our tops for it to come through. We can actually just like boost a bit here just to make this but also we can go back to our filter and just open it up a little bit and we could go let's make sure we get this 500 hertz area cleaner All right let's give some importance here to our main harmonic and actually get, trying to get this one to sound a bit more high on the mix so we need to it's not actually boosted a lot we just need to, to take this one down a bit Right. So now that we got this, we can look at Serum and we can just like make one thing to make the sound a bit more, as you can see on the EQ, the sound was just not constant. So there were a few hits where the sub was louder, the other ones were just a bit more quiet. So it's just a matter of turning the, the random phase all the way down. It will make us get like a more of a constant sound. Like every single hit, we got to get the same sort of braces on the low end it got quieter but we can always boost and obviously my opinion is it's always better to have a layer a separate layer of sub uh, for this specific sort of basis so i would recommend to just layer another instance of serum playing the same notes but just like a clean saw wave uh, sine wave coming through all right so let's try to achieve that more of a boxy guitar effect to it so obviously we're going to use hemp because we're trying to achieve a guitar 
distorted guitar feeling to our sound. So what else? Uh, since I'm using Ableton, we can definitely go with amp. As you can hear, it already brings that tone. But we want to make sure we get a bit more clean. All right, so let's go with the clean one here. And let's tweak some of these parameters. Because we want the mids, but like the treble is just too much. So we can take this down a little bit. Increase the bass as well. And it's up to you if you want to make this mono or stereo. But in this case, I feel like mono is the way to go. All right. Then we can just be a bit milder on the presence. And to wrap things up, we're just going to process this with the Fab Filters Pro Q as well. Because obviously, we still need to get more of that sub bass there. And also, our tops are getting a bit out of control with the, the, amp, the amp distortion. So we're just taming them down a little bit. Then we can go back to our serum. And just like, for instance, get this one octave higher sub and you get more of these harmonics here but that's not what we want we wanted this like to actually add like a sub bass to it right so let's let's get back to our to our patch which is in my opinion pretty much finalized all right it's just a matter of final tweaks specifically here on the filter right just to get that sweet spot which should be somewhere around here you know then balancing the level of the noise because it makes lots of difference as you can hear it just sets the tone for, for pretty much the, the whole bass sound right so now let's hear this with Moses but I, I need actually to to make the sort of EQ on Moses track otherwise it's gonna get like some sort of phasing uh, so let's take some of these sounds out so we can hear if our sound fits the track <laughs> Hear the phasing a bit. So let's just. Yeah. Then would be the last step. In my opinion, it will be just resampling the space, choosing the, 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 the right instance that you want because we need to get those weird phasings going on to, to reach this, to, to get to the sound. So resample this. Choose the best bit, just straight on put it in a DAW because that's, I'm pretty sure that's how Mosey did it. So we could achieve that sort of like really constant sound playing throughout the whole track. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.